Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Little Dude Twenty One, and welcome back to another video, guys. So today is the day, guys. Star Wars Battlefront 2's patch 1.2 has been officially released, and I'm going to be talking through and showcasing the new features. Uh, that have come with the patch. So if you are excited for this video guys, go ahead and drop a like rating down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also, just before we start guys, I wanted to say that I'm not going through all of the changes, I'm only going to be going through the major changes. So with all that out of the way guys, let's get on with the video. So firstly, I wanted to go over the jetpack cargo mode. So this new mode is a limited time mode in which you have to deliver the cargo to the designated area whilst playing as a jump trooper. And as you can tell guys, this mode is absolutely chaotic and very fast paced and I really, really love it. So when you spawn as a jump trooper, there are actually two classes and you can either play with a pistol or you can play with a rifle. And saying that, here is a short 45 second clip of this awesome and new game mode. So yeah, as you can see guys, it is a very chaotic game mode, and I really do hope that DICE decides to keep this in the game, as one of the developers over there did say that it could be a possibility that it will stay. So moving on to arcade mode. Now arcade mode has seen a major change, and I think it is a change that we all wanted to see. So they have added all the other maps that they were missing from arcade mode, and these maps are Hoth, Jakku, Death Star 2, Kashyyyk, and Endor. And guys, here is another short clip showcasing some gameplay from these newly added maps to Arcade. I'm a Jedi, like my father. Uh, 
So guys, now I'm just briefly going to go over some of the other small changes, and also I will leave a link to the full patch list notes that actually go into detail about all the smaller changes. So basically the heroes have received either nerfs, buffs or tweaks. Milestones have had an update in which when you complete a milestone it automatically unlocks it for you, you don't have to go into the uh, career page and find it to then unlock it. So that is pretty awesome. And then there were some other smaller changes as well, but like I said guys, I will leave a link to the full notes on the patch 1.2 so that you guys can see everything that has been changed, added and removed. And that is about it guys, so if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out. Oh,